more than 70 Canadian gymnasts want Sport Canada to launch an investigation into what they say is a toxic culture and abusive practices in their sport. Their open letter to Director General Vicky Walker states that they can no longer sit in silence and are coming forward with their experiences of abuse, neglect and discrimination in hopes of forcing change. The athletes are calling for an independent investigation, saying complaints to Gymnastics Canada haven't been heard. And they aren't the only ones calling for change in their sport. Just three weeks ago, a similar letter came from Canadian bobsled and skeleton racers. Well, joining us now to give us her own account of the world of Olympic gymnastics is rhythmic gymnast Alex Landry. Ms. Landry, welcome to Forum Daily. Hi, thank you so much for having me. So take us back to what led to this call for an investigation and what eventually broke the silence that gymnasts and former athletes wrote that they had to sit in for almost a decade. Yeah, you know what? I think seeing all of the other athletes in different sports speak out about what's going on really is what broke the silence. You know, we have been quiet for so long and we need a change. And knowing that this is still happening, even when I haven't been in the sport for 10 years, is evident that we need a change. And this letter goes on to point out there have been multiple complaints and arrests for uh, emotional, physical and sexual abuse in this sport over the past five years. But there hasn't been much change, has there, Ms. Landry? No, there hasn't been any change at all. And knowing that when I was in the sport and we had complaints as well, there was nothing being done. So there's no change. And in, in addition to abuse uh, or sexual abuse claims, there are also concerns around overexhaustion and verbal abuse of athletes. So uh, can you tell us a little bit more about these particular complaints? For sure. So I believe gymnastics is a sport that requires a lot of repetition. We need to be near perfection at all times. And this just requires extremely long practices and in conditions that were horrible. We would used to train without air conditioning. We used to have horrible floors that we would jump on. And, you know, we used to be doing these things for 10 hours a day. And if things were not going right, our coaches would yell at us constantly. So these are just my experiences. And I know other gymnasts have similar, if not worse experiences as well. That sounds very strenuous. Uh, Ms. Landry, can you tell us a little bit more about your own personal experience in the world of Olympic gymnastics and how it's been impacted by this toxic culture? Yeah, so what's really unfortunate is that when I look back at my Olympic experience, the main thing that I think about is how horrible I was treated by my coach. I experienced constant shaming in regards to my weight. I was told that I was fat every single day. I was told that I was an unacceptable shape for the sport of gymnastics. My coach would re-choreograph our routine so that I would be at the back so judges wouldn't see how fat I was. So these are the types of things that I experienced every single day. And we had no one to reach out to. We were alone. We were often training out in Russia, in Bulgaria, in Spain. We had no support system. We were constantly with our coaches that were telling us these things. So we were very much impacted in more ways than one. And these are things that I had to deal with after the Olympics as well. So some things that have, you know, carried on in my personal life as well. And how have uh, these events impacted you in your personal life? Uh, you say it's been 10 years since you've been in the sport, uh, but it's still affecting you. Yeah, I mean, I do deal with a lot of anxiety. Uh, you know, I do have issues with my weight. I look at myself and I'm not happy with what my body looks like. You know, these are things that I'm constantly working on, but I know that they're tainted because of this is like the type of abuse that I had for 10 years, 11 years in the sport. That's completely understandable, Ms. Landry. Uh, a minute and a half left here, but this letter says Gym Canada or Gymnastics Canada failed to address these matters. So what are you hoping uh, of the outcome of an investigation from Sport Canada? Yeah, honestly, I truly believe that all athletes should feel safe in the sport that they do. And I want this investigation to shed light on things that have been going on for years. And I want there to be a change. I want to protect the current athletes, the future athletes. And, you know, I also want previous athletes to have some sort of closure on things that they have gone through when they were a gymnast. So, you know, we've held on to this for so long. And I think people that were abusive need to be held accountable as well for the things that they've done. Have you heard back uh, from Sport Canada regarding this letter at all? No, we have not heard back yet. All right, Ms. Landry, thank you again for joining us and sharing uh, your story with our viewers. Thank you so much for having me.